October 10th, 2015, and most would call this a mutated potato or potato. And we also have a mutated tomato or tomato. Now, most would say, what's the difference? And there really isn't much difference in these plants because they come from the nightshade family, which is pretty much a poisonous family that includes the deadly nightshade and the jimson weed. There's 2,000 plant species in the nightshade family, and a lot of them are mostly the plants that we eat, vegetables. That include sweet peppers, eggplants, hot peppers, goji berries, chili peppers, jalapenos, habaneros, chili-based spices, red pepper, cayenne, paprika, and tomatoes, and a lot of other stuff. But what makes these poisonous is a chemical that's in it called glycoalkaloids. Now, this is a reason why people might get um, inflammation, and they're problematic because of this glycoalkaloid content. Overconsumption of these edible species can actually be poisonous to anyone, and it's possible that a low level toxic property of nightshade vegetables contribute to a variety of health issues. But there are also some other vegetables and fruits that contain this glycoalkaloid, but they're not as dangerous as the ones that are in these other vegetables including blueberries, huckleberries, okra, apples, cherries, sugar beets, and artichokes. They're safe to consume from a glycoalkaloid standpoint, but the other ones are, are kind of suspicious. So this is kind of like a double whammy. I wanted to show you these mutations and also warn you of the uh, nightshade family. And um, like I said, there's a lot of vegetables that we're eating, maybe we shouldn't be eating them. Now doesn't this look like it's got a bloated stomach? It's like a little a little baby with a bloated stomach from the inflammation from the glycoalkaloids. This one was produced uh, in the supermarket I found it was probably grown in Idaho because it's Idaho potato. This one was grown in the backyard in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. So, if you have some inflammation and you don't know what's causing it, maybe you should get rid of these nightshade family vegetables and see if it helps you. Now, consuming mutated vegetables, I've, I wouldn't do it, but since these are mutations, could they be hazardous or dangerous to eat? I don't know, but I'm not going to try this one. This one is on display. They look like brothers or sisters. <laughs>